right, 7.4, special right triangles. Okay, there are two types of special right triangles that you guys need to know. The first one is the 45, 45, 90 triangle. That means that there are two angles that are 45 degrees and then a 90 degree angle, okay? In a 45, 45, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is root 2 times as long as each leg. So the hypotenuse equals the leg times root 2. Now hopefully you guys see that if two angles are congruent, these two sides are congruent. It's isosceles. So if you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, the legs are going to be the same length. Okay, So either leg you pick, multiply it by root 2, and you have the hypotenuse. Or, conversely, if you have the hypotenuse, divide by root 2 to get one of the legs. So, for example, let's say we're given this triangle. This is 90 degrees, this is 45 degrees. All the angles have to add up to 180, so automatically you know this also has to be 40 degrees. Because that's the only way all the angles add up to 180. So, if this is 6, this also has to be 6. And it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, so the hypotenuse is root 2 times the leg. Voila, you're done. So by the triangle sum theorem, the measure of the third angle must be 45 degrees, as we just discussed. Then the triangle is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So by theorem 7.8, the hypotenuse is root 2 times as long as each leg. The hypotenuse equals leg times root 2. 45, 45, 90 triangle theorem. Okay, so if you substitute everything, you get 6 root 2. All right, the second one, by the base angles theorem and the corollary to the triangle sum theorem, the triangle is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. You know this because it's obviously isosceles, which means that these two angles have to be congruent, right? If this is 90 degrees and these two angles have to be the same thing, then they have to be 45 because 45 plus 45 is 90. If this was something else like 50 and this was 50, 50 plus 50 plus 90 doesn't equal 180. The only way this works is if they're both 45 and this is 90. So you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which means the hypotenuse is the leg times root 2. So each leg is 4 root 2 times root 2. Root 2 times root 2 is just 2. So I have 4 times 2, which is 8. All right. Let's go on to page 2. Okay, find the lengths of the legs in the triangle. By the base angles theorem and the corollary to the triangle sum theorem, the triangle is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. The same thing as before. These two sides are congruent, which means that these two angles are congruent, so they have to be 45. The only way it works. So the hypotenuse is the leg times root 2. The hypotenuse, we know, is 9 root 2. The leg is x. We don't know what, what the the leg is. Okay? So from here, I'm going to divide both sides by root 2. And let's see. Let's do it this way. So this cancels out. This cancels out. So x equals 9. And I divided each side by root 2. All right. You guys can do the checkpoint. Okay, the other type of special right triangle you need to know is the 30-60-90 triangle theorem, okay? In a 30-60-90 triangle theorem, the hypotenuse is twice as long as the shorter leg, and the longer leg is root three times as long as the shorter leg. So the hypotenuse is two times the short leg. The long leg is the short leg times root three. Okay, so unlike in the 45, 45, 90 triangle, in the 45, 45, 90 triangle, it doesn't really look like that, but two of the, the legs are essentially the same. So if this is two, then this is also two. If this is five, this is also five. In a 30, 60, 90 triangle, that's not going to be the case. You're going to have one leg longer than the other leg, and then the hypotenuse. So whatever the short leg is, if you multiply this by 2, you're going to get the hypotenuse. Whatever the short leg is, if you multiply by root 3, you get the long leg. And vice versa. If you have the hypotenuse, just divide by 2 to get the short leg. Um, and then multiply by root 3, three to get the 
long lead. We'll do some examples. All right. You make a guitar pick that resembles an equilateral triangle. Now, hopefully you guys remember, equilateral triangles have three 60-degree angles. The side length is 32 millimeters, so all three sides are 32 millimeters. What is the approximate height of the pick? Draw an equilateral triangle, um, as uh, that is described. Its altitude forms the longer leg of two 30, 60, 90 triangles. Now, the reason this is is because we know that all the angles are 60 degrees because if all the angles are equal and they all add up to 180, that's the only way, th that's the only possibility. 60, 60, 60, if you add them all up, it equals 180. This, the altitude cuts this angle in half. Half of 60 is 30. So this is 30, and this is 30, and the whole thing is 60. So each of these triangles are 30, 60, 90 triangles. This is 30, 60, 90, and so is the other one. Let's just deal with this one. The length h of the altitude is approximately the height of the pick. All right, remember that an equilateral triangle is the altitude to a side, uh, or the altitude to a side is also the median to that side. So altitude BD bisects AC. So if this whole thing is 32, and this cuts it in half, it divides it into 16 and 16. Okay? Now, because um, it's a 30, 60, 90, I know that the long leg is the short leg times root 3. The long leg is h. The short leg is 16. 16 times root 3. You could just leave it as 16 root 3, but it looks like they want a decimal. Let's see here. Square root of 3 is that times 16. We've got 27.7 ish. Okay. All right, example 4. Find the values of x and y. Write your answer in simplest radical form. Okay, so they're not looking for a decimal, they're looking for an exact answer. Okay. Find the value of x. Okay, remember, the short leg is root 3 times the long leg. So the long leg is the shorter leg times root 3. The longer leg is 8. Okay, I'm going to divide each side by root 3. Let's see here. So this cancels out. Now, uh, hopefully you guys remember from algebra, you can't have a square root in the bottom. The way you get rid of it, the way you rationalize the denominator, is by multiplying uh, top and bottom by whatever the square root is. Okay, So root 3 times root 3 is 3, so you've got 8 root 3 over 3. And I multiply numerator and denominator by root 3. So this is your x. To find the value of y, y is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg, and now we know the short leg is 8 root 3 over 3. So this is 2 times 8 root 3 over 3. 2 times 8 is 16, so I have 16 root 3 over 3 for y. Alright. Okay, a car is turned off while the windshield wipers are moving. The 24-inch wipers stop, making a 60-degree angle with the bottom of the windshield. How far from the bottom of the windshield are the ends of the, of the wipers? So, as you can see in the diagram, this is 60 degrees. We have a right angle. This is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, the distance is the length of the longer leg. That's this here. The length of the hypotenuse is 24 inches. Okay? So this is what we're trying to find. We have the hypotenuse. We're looking for the longer leg. In order to do that, what I'm going to do is, I know that the short leg is half of the hypotenuse. Once I get the short leg, I can multiply it by root 3 to get the long leg. Okay? So the hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg. That's the 
part of the 30, 60, 90 triangle sum theorem, or triangle theorem, sorry. The hypotenuse is 24. Divide both sides by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Okay? Now the long leg, so this is 12. The long leg is the short leg times root 3. This is the other part of the 30, 60, 90 triangle theorem. The longer leg is D, so I've got 12 times root 3. And generally you can just leave it like that, but they want a decimal, so we could do that. Square root of 3 is that, times 12, 20.78, I'll just put 20.8. So the ends of the wipers are about 20.8 inches from the bottom of the windshield. All right, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint, and that's all.